humans have long since expanded their psychological world through literature. Literature portrays human life through language, and language consists of speech and characters. Without characters, how would humans have told their stories to the peoples of other times and places? Such is the reason why the Eastern world valued the use of characters as a form of art. Among Korean novels, there is one which that explores human psychology through the act of using characters. It is none other than Yi Munyeol's The Golden Phoenix. <laughs> The Golden Phoenix is a story about how a calligrapher comes to realize himself through conflict with his teacher. The artist is immersed in the world of artistic writing, calligraphy. It is the oriental tradition that through writing characters, one can experience the way, the ideal world. The way is not a place to be reached without strict training and the realizing of one's own philosophy. The story starts with the scene of an old man on the verge of dying, looking back at his life as an artist. The artist had to choose between two different ways of living that life. One was to follow the world of his teacher, and the other was to discover his own. 이 작품 안에서는 그 어, 서예가 이제 그 스승과 제자 사이에 이제 미학권의 충돌로 표현되지만은 그 작가 자신이 이제 그러니까 그 서양의 문명과 그 서양의 여러 가지 이제 그 의식과 미학 이런 것이 이제 그 쏟아져 들어온 데 대해서 느꼈던 여러 가지 그 갈등과 그것을 수용하느냐 배격하느냐 이그 선택 그 과정이 이제 많이 투영됐다고 생각하는데요. The way is the ideal every Oriental artist dreams of reaching. The virtue that man and the world, or man and God, aim for, it was also the dream of the old teacher. But the disciple wanted to look for a world of his own. He wanders in search of his world. He thought of art as an expression of emotion and talent. Such different viewpoints on calligraphy led the two to lead very different lives. The disciple, in the midst of wandering aimlessly, finds peace with his master through his master's death. The old teacher leaves a will, asking his disciple to write the banner on his coffin. After this incident, the disciple follows his teacher's footsteps. Reaching old age, Imunyo tries to find a new meaning in his life. Gathering the letters he wrote all his life, he conjures up a new plan. The highlight of this novel begins right here. Death is near. The disciple gathers his works and begins the task of evaluating them. He does this self-examination with unrelenting strictness. The results are devastating. He finds that his work does not have any of the values he strived for. Thus realized, the artist makes a decision. Deciding that none of them are worthy, he asks that they be burnt. 
이 금시조의 아주 그 뛰어난 점이라고 생각을 합니다만 은 금시조의 결론은 제가 읽기로는 화해는 있을 수 없고 갈등은 계속 되풀이 되는데 다만 그 갈등 속에서의 끝없는 미학의 어떤 그 변화 변화는 늘 자기가 싸우고 있는 다른 미학으로부터의 영향을 통해서 온다라고 The disciple sees a bird in the flames of his burning works. The bird is none other than the legendary golden phoenix. It symbolizes the aesthetic ideals the artist had been trying to reach all his life. The artist thus can now accept death. What was the writer trying to express through this story? The <laughs> Ecomizoe 어, 동양적인 예술관을 어, 인적 가치나 어떤 상위 어떤 선 같은 거 공통성 같은 걸로 어, 규정 지어지는 그 예술을 하고 그 다음에 서양적인 것 어, 예술 그 자체가 목적이 되고 그 자체로 충족되는 어떤 예술관 그 사이에 충돌을 어, 그렸습니다. Lee Moon Yeol is one of Korea's most internationally well-known writers. Born in 1948, he wrote numerous works about the conflict between man and religion, man and art, and between men. His most renowned works, such as The Golden Phoenix, Our Twisted Hero, and The Poet, are currently translated into English, Japanese, French, Russian, and many other foreign languages. Many types of unusual Koreans are portrayed in his works. Are you curious about the world of this author? I suggest you try meeting him through his books like Our Twisted Hero, or the poet. For more information, please check out the following site. You will find many more pieces of Korean literature there. Thanks again for joining me today. See you next time.